Well, today we honor those who have served our country in the armed forces, but for some veterans, that service doesn't stop when they leave active duty. Indeed, leading up to Veterans Day this week, News 3 has introduced you to vets who return to base to work as civilians. News 3 reporter Anthony Sabella shows us one local veteran whose journey took him from a Caribbean island to keeping watch over the world's largest Navy base. I've always been a, a man that um, enjoyed serving the people. And serve he does. Lieutenant Peter James is a Department of Defense police officer at Naval Station Norfolk. The safety of the world's largest Navy base and the people on it in his hands. And that's how he likes it. I've always had a, a passion for law enforcement. Unlike the sailors on base, James isn't currently enlisted. Instead, he serves as a civilian. But at one time, he was one of them. In 1997, I joined the United States Navy uh, up to the point of 2006. Uh, 2006, I got out and then joined the uh, Air Force. Yes, a veteran of two branches of service. In the Air Force, James says he spent a lot of his time in the Civil Engineering Unit at Camp Pendleton in Virginia Beach. And while overseas, he'd helped turn bare military bases into living, working spaces. But it was a couple of years working security at Langley Air Force Base, he says, that started his law enforcement career. Anything that allows me to help other people, that, that's always been the uh, way I was raised. James left the Air Force in 2018, exactly 30 years after arriving in the U.S. with his sister. You see, Peter James wasn't born in America. He was born in Jamaica. Proud, proud, proud. Like, I love both my nationality. You always dream as a child, like, you know, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. I've checked off a lot of those boxes, you know, travel the world, you know, uh, join the military, you know, law enforcement. A shining example of the American dream at work. This veteran keeps finding ways to serve his country 25 years after becoming a citizen at 18. Oh, sometimes they just want to go and say, okay, I'm done with the military. But at the same time, there's still a part of you that wants to be a, a, a still serve. Um, and this is a great, uh, great job that allows you to do that. Anthony Sabella, News 3.